Hello there, my name is Peter Thompson and this is one of my teaching DVDs and it's all about the knees. The knee movement for each person is different. It's very, very important to understand that because our bodies are all different. Some people can swing back and turn their shoulders around 90 degrees or thereabouts with almost no knee movement. That's fantastic. Other golfers can't do that. I certainly can't. Your knee movement is there to allow you to move your hips and therefore to move your shoulders. I'm going to show you some very good golfers on my computer screen and we can analyze what their knees are actually doing. And you'll find a pattern emerges. Let's go and have a look. On the left is one of my pupils, it's young James, down to three handicap now, he's doing extremely well. And on the right is Ben Hogan. I'm going to draw a circle around Ben Hogan's left knee and another circle around his right knee. Then do the same with James. James can hit the ball through the air with a 7-9, about 200 yards, which is extremely impressive. So we'll have a look at the knees. Ben Hogan won many, many major tournaments. Iconic golfer, iconic golf swing, and his left knee has moved down and it's moved across towards the right knee. James is very, very fit, supremely fit, and he can move his shoulders, the same as Ben Hogan, about 90 degrees, keeping his left knee and his right knee almost still. Now, I can't do that. Not many people can, but James can, which is an advantage, because now he has less movement coming down less movement, more consistency. So Ben Hogan, left knee down, left knee across, James, left knee staying pretty still. Left knee down, left knee across, because the left hip's gone down, left hip's gone across, left shoulder's gone down, left shoulder's gone across. James, left hip, hardly moved, left shoulder's gone down, very flat, very flexible. What is impact position? This isn't a bad impact, but that's just outstanding. Ben Hogan, this very old film, so you can't really see the shaft, but also outstanding. So, two very good golfers there. Different bodies, different shapes, different flexibilities. It's very important that in all aspects of golf, one realizes what one can do and what one can't do. So, the left knee needs to move down. It needs to move to the right. And, if you can, move your shoulders around and your hips around with your knees staying pretty still, that's fantastic. Ben Hogan didn't. Left knee went down, left knee went forward because the left hip's going down and forward and the left shoulder's going down and behind the ball. You saw with both of them though, the right knee didn't stay completely still, but didn't really move very far. So they're almost turning around the knee. The knee is going to go backwards. If you try and keep your right knee still, that's a bit of a problem. So there's a pattern emerging. We're going to watch some more golfers now and see if they follow the same pattern. 
I'm sure they will. Let's go and have a look. Anyhow, is the next one. I took these films myself at the Masters in 2004. One of my pupils won the Amateur Championship in 2003 and gave me two tickets for five days. If you get the chance to go there, just go, it's fantastic. So on the right, there's a vertical line in front of his knees and another line across his knees. On the left, we're going to draw a circle on the knee, on the left knee and a circle on the right knee. So on the right, 18th hole, Augusta, wonderful hole, got to see you in there a few weeks ago, 2017, a worthy winner. So this will surprise many, many people, but the pattern so far is the left knee goes down, it doesn't stay level, it goes down. The left knee has to go down because the left hip's gone down and the left shoulder's gone down. Left knee's gone towards the golf ball and down towards the ground. Left hand pitcher. Left knee is moving towards the right knee and the left knee is moving down. Right knee's staying fairly still. You can see on the right hand pitcher the right knee was on this line and it's more still on the line, all the action is really with the left knee and the left side. Great swing, probably see the flight of the ball there, there's the ball taking off, straight towards the bunkers, a little bit of fade, away from the bunkers and the pitch on the left is where the ball landed. So left knee, down, towards the right knee, right knee staying fairly still, again, knees moving so the hip can move, hips moving so the shoulder can move and we don't want the knee to stop that happening, so the knee has to do something unless you're very, very flexible. I tend to repeat things in my lessons just to make sure people understand them and the pattern now is the left knee is going to go forward and down and a bit towards the right knee. Some of my pupils, Gary Wollstone for example, who was the best English amateur golfer who's ever lived and one of the tour pros that I teach and another man who plays off got down to plus four. I get them to think about their left knee in the backswing moving to the left. It won't go to the left, but it will stop them turning round too far. Many, many golfers turn round much, much too far. 90 degrees, shoulder turn is maximum, and your left knee can control that. If your left knee moves a long way, you can probably turn your shoulders round too far. If your left knee moves that way, then you probably can't turn your shoulders round hardly at all. Again, everyone's different. So my pupils try and move the left knee to the left to simply stop them turning round too far. 90 degrees, my left knee's gone that far. Some people can turn around 90 degrees, keeping the left knee still. Other people, as you'll see in a few minutes, have to move their left knee a long, long way to get the same turn. You need to experiment, stand in front of a mirror, Hold the club across your chest, turn round 90 degrees and see what the left knee's done. My left knee's gone to the right, 
and down. From this side, 90 degrees, my left knee's gone down and to the right and forward. Let's go and watch some more knees now. John Daly. Very enigmatic golfer, John Daly. Absolutely brilliant at times, and other times not so brilliant. But won two major championships, so as far as I'm concerned, that means he's very, very good. And Annika Sorenstam, we're going to look at her as well. And same thing, on the right hand picture, we're going to draw a circle on the left knee. And a circle on the right knee. And on the left hand picture, a line in front of John's knees. And another line through the middle of the knees. So the emerging pattern is, we'll look on the right hand picture first, left knee is going to move slightly down and to the right, which it did, and the right knee stays not still, don't try and keep it still, fairly still. On the left hand picture, just move this line forward slightly. So just watch the knees, nothing else. So his right knee's gone back because he's got this huge big turn. His left knee has definitely gone down and it's definitely gone forward. And that gives him this big, big turn and hits the ball a long, long way. Not the longest hitter, by the way, but quite a long way. So he's using his knees to give him the turn. And of course, Robinson's doing the same. Less turn, more consistency. John Daly couldn't get us where the ball goes, so he just gives it a really good whack, and it sometimes goes straight, sometimes doesn't, he doesn't care. So left knee down, left knee forward, left knee towards the golf ball. Annika again, left knee down, left knee forward, right knee staying fairly still. That controls the turn. Driving machines have no knees and they can hit the golf ball 450 yards, 500 yards just by moving the top bit round at speed. We are not built like that. We have knees, we have to learn to use them properly and that means using them for your body. Everybody's different. You've now seen some brilliant golfers. One, left knee, hardly moved. John Daly's left knee moved a huge amount. But even when the left knee stays nearly still, it's still going slightly forward, slightly down, and slightly to the right. That's the pattern. Again, use the mirror. See how far you need to let your left knee move to turn no more than 90 degrees. Let's go look at the best golfers ever lived now. Jack Nicklaus, 18 major championships. Phenomenally good. Jack Nicklaus when he was only 19 years old. Still an amateur golfer. This one may well surprise you, but even though Jack Nicklaus was only 19, he wasn't particularly flexible. 
Let's watch the knees. So the left knee should come down out of the circle. And didn't it just? It's actually gone into the other circle where the right knee was. So a huge big hip turn, but the shoulder turn is still only about 90 degrees. Not very flexible, left heel off the ground, left knee moving to where the right knee was, all that in order to get a full shoulder turn. And up it goes. So his left knee went to where his right knee was, now his right knee's gone to where his left knee was. That's why I don't teach coiling in one of my DVDs, Mr. Golf, Coil and Uncoil. I show this film and there's no coiling there, there's just movement. You need to let your knees move to allow your body to move, to turn, not to coil, just to move. Fantastic. I'm going to show you a lady golfer now, another lady golfer from, from Mexico, I think. And this lady was so good at playing golf that when she was 28, she retired. Same age as Bobby Jones, another brilliant golfer. Imagine being so good at playing golf that you can retire age 28. I think that's admirable. St Andrews, very iconic, Swilcombe Burn there, I've played there once. Again, if you get the chance to play there, just go and play, it's wonderful. So, let's watch the left knee. The right knee's going to stay reasonably still, as in most good golfers, the left knee is the key one. There's the left knee going forward, towards the target line, and it's going down, because the left hip, you can see by the sweater band, and the shoulders, the left side, left shoulder, left hips have gone down. The left knee is attached, so it has to go down. Most people try and turn around with at least staying level. Well, that's not what they're doing. This is what they're doing. Good swing. Very elegant. Very relaxed. Let's watch that again. Such a lovely view with the clubhouse in the back there. And now the allow lady members, even better. I went in there with my wife once, and we wanted to go and look at all the trophies. They had a beautiful trophy room in there. And I went in there, my wife came in with me, and she was politely told, sorry, madam, no ladies allowed in here. And that sort of grates with me, because ladies and gents really are very different or equal. So, good thing to allow ladies to go in there now. Anyway, back to the knees, or the left knee in particular. See the knees moving, just the hips are moving. Knees are moving to allow the hips to turn. Hips are turning to allow the shoulders to move. Fantastic. Nice square face. Great goal swing. The current best golfer in the world is Dustin Johnson. And picture on the right at the top of the back swing. And again, look at the knees. His right knee's gone back, so his hips can turn around. He's almost got his belt buckle facing towards the camera. So his right knee's gone back, his left knee's gone forward, his left knee's gone down. And that allows the hips to turn, and the shoulders to turn, and the arms to go back, so the club goes back. So you're now in a good hitting position. Don't restrict your knees, unless you can. If you can, fantastic. Dustin Johnson can't. Get your hips and shoulders turning. Well, if Dustin Johnson kept his knees still, he would have turned probably half as far as that, and he would not be the best golfer in the world. He simply wouldn't. But he is. Great swing. It's more the fade all the time. I like that power fade. Fantastic.
So that's the end of this DVD. Bow the knees. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed showing people's knee movement for you, for you to understand and for you to learn. Um, the key move really is let the left knee move down to the right and towards the target line. Right knee stays fairly still, but if you're not very flexible, let your knees move so you can turn your hips and your chest. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.